was just getting stops and uh, getting rebound and getting down and pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, so yeah, All right, Dave, I am you. back. Going to be starting break. off the third quarter in a little bit here. Soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 16 points, 2 assists, and 10 rebounds. He had a very shaky performance in their last game, but it has not affected him at all tonight. What a tremendous first half he played. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? We're seeing the Giannis effect. First player to ever fit it in the top 20 in all five major statistical categories. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? It doesn't speak for its overall impact, but I just want to tell you that's impressive. How about you, Shane? What did you think about Chicago? Well, they got to do a better job on the glass. Ernie, they got out of work. They were weak physically. And that should do it with the second half about to begin. Let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back, Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Antetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just... Yeah, I think it's safe to say Milwaukee pretty much won this game already. I mean, all they have to do is not have a complete and utter catastrophic meltdown, and they're going to walk away with the win. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis. Yeah, the Bulls the have been just absolute the dog shit. Let's not mince words here. <laughs> They've been absolute motherfucking dog shit. The shot by Adekumbo, nobody around. Nice. The triple. It's a nice fucking shot right points. there. I mean, goddamn, dude. <laughs> Chris, fucking Milwaukee just so fucking shit up. I mean, you're always looking for whatever can give you that, that advantage. Two of the best players and people can compete. Access denied. Harden getting to the line is genius because he knows how you're guarding him. And basically, you got to stay away from him to guard him because he's so skilled. And by the way, Curry does the same thing. And Curry, one of the smaller players in the league, but always finding a way to take the contact, take the bump. But to get the scoring up, and I think as a fan for me, I know as a fan for me, <laughs> it's fun watching the cat and mouse. Should be some easy points here. And the defender, seeing who yep. can get the best of each other while involving the ref. Well, they just easy couple of points. So well. they know exactly what they need to do to get their God ball. damn. And it's all on the spur of the moment. I mean, this is right. all on the fly. Such genius to watch. Play. One of the biggest blowouts I've seen in a long time. Actually, this is one of the biggest blowouts I've seen just straight up ever. But that was a nice shot there. Well done. But the Bulls are going to need a lot of fucking shots like that if they're going to want to make a comeback. And their defense is going to have to be impeccable. But he says, everything starts from basketball. All the decisions I make are based on if it helps me on the basketball court. Kevin? Terrific attitude. David Banks. Capable of doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys are open. Matthews against Levine. Bloodsoe right side. And he gets the whistle. Two Draws a foul. Coming up. Milwaukee shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Yeah, and and fairly decent a season ago about 77 percent from the line two shots relax on the first Ooh. 
The free throw drops for Bledsoe. So Nailed it. White with it. Outside Levine. Stolen by Bloodso. And now running up the court, Bloodso pushing it up. Uses the glass. Puts it in, and they break the 50 mark. We're not even halfway through the third yet. Fucking Christ. God damn, they're just obliterating the shit out of the Bulls. Outside Levine. Again, Chicago. Well, Jim Boylan, uh, he won the Chicago head coaching job after his interim stint. The fans were unsure of the hire, but the front office believes in him moving forward. Now here's Middleton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Ludzo against White. This is to Levine. Outside Porter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the All front right. of the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. In each season, Porter seems to improve. It's just something about his game. He's a versatile player who wants to be great. The Bulls have converted one of two free throws so far today. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Missed it. And for Boylan, Chris, he's been a bit demanding on his roster. Yeah, Kevin, it's just going to be tough. He's tasked with molding this young Bulls core. I mean, the front office wanted a hard-nosed coach. They believe they found their guy with Boylan's approach. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Young's checked in for Wendell Carter. Chandler Hutchison comes in for Markinen. Saransky's checked in for Zach Levine. And Chris Dunn subbed in for White. He hits the second from the line. Milwaukee has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Connington kicks to Lopez. Shot clock at five. For three, Hill. He Not quite able to get it there. Chicago the other way. Passes it to Hutchison. They get it again. Not able to get it. Young outside. Korver against Porter. And stolen by Ilyasova. Korver against Porter. Pass to Lopez. Pass to Connaughton from downtown. Milwaukee the rebound. That one good for two. And that's now six points for Brook Lopez. They are just killing them on the interior. Dunn passes to Hutchison. Back to Dunn. Shot from 12. Young with no one around. And he overshot that one, missing. He's as surprised as anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually count and Ilias good score there not that the fucking bucks need it they have a 30 point lead holy shit fuck here's done i mean at a certain point it's just like goddamn dude there should be some kind of mercy rule or something i mean goddamn I, think got a few more I don't think I've ever seen a blowout like this in any, like, basketball game. I mean, maybe in college hoops I've seen, like, pretty big blowouts, but, like, not in, like, an actual NBA game have I seen a blowout like this. Here's Porter. Like, even when I've had some of the best teams go up against some of the worst teams, like, even still... I don't think I've seen blowouts this big. And two 
Ooh. That was a nasty looking foul. It's his first trip to the line. Really can't criticize the work he did at the line a year ago. 82% on the season. And the first one drops. Well, I like the fit of George Hill in this team. He could play either guard spot. Great versatility. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. So one for two that time at the strike. Shot and game clock separated by five. Dunn dishes to Young. Lopez with the steal. Down against Corver. Connaughton passes to Lopez. It's Hill on the wing. Five points in the game. The teardrop falls in. Hill's got seven My points. My God. <laughs> I mean, there's not even much for me to say at this point. I mean, the Bucks are just absolutely fucking the shit out of the Bulls right now. All right. Well... That's it for the third quarter. Stay tuned for the fourth. Until then, peace out.